So hopefully everything with my camera is working because it's been just shitting itself all morning. So hopefully everything's okay this episode. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Jujutsu Kaisen, episode 19. Man, it feels good to say that. Last episode was called Sage. This episode is called Black Flash. Last episode, we had the continuation of the exchange event, whereas we had some great combative stuff with Megumi and Camo. And that led to them going out into the courtyard where they saw Toga being chased, you know, Maki being chased by uh, Hanami. And then Hanami was like, well, you all die to become sages. I want to protect the earth. All that weird shit. Meanwhile, Gojo, <laughs> Gojo, Utahime and Gakuganji, well, not Gojo, because he's locked out with the little field that was made. Gakuganji's Led Zeppelin about to fight this dude. Utahime is going to save the kids. I have no idea what's going on, but this is like the climax right now. So I am so ready. I got to get into this episode. Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Those links are down below for you, like always. If you guys want to support me and Patreon is not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post. And then follow me on all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Don't forget, guys, we do have a P.O. box now if you guys ever want to send me anything, any art mail anything and everything is much appreciated all the info for everything is in the description like always let's hop right on into this jujutsu kaisen episode 19 black flash so excited it's it's funny that i the episode's called black flash and i'm wearing the yellow flash oh wrong side <laughs> oh yeah they are on the run the cursed speech is so good Piercing blood. He's so oh they were actually able to wound him. Getting out of the temple. We have Nue right there following suit. Hanami close behind. I wanna know what's under the wrap. I wanna know everything. I wanna see. Why didn't Inumak? He can hit his limit like that hard? Don't tell me Nue is dead. I Oh, good save. I like Nue so much. Damn. I didn't realize the limit was like that. It just... He's not done yet. Not done yet. You know, Maki, still your senior. He's gonna he's gonna keep fighting. Inumaki is a savage. With that dull blit. Oh, she was talking about Maki. Oh my god. Ooh. That's Miwa's sword, right? Ooh, I love how I can pull him in and out of the shadows. What is that, a triple nunchuck? Look at... Yup, look at this arsenal of weaponry. Oh, really? So they have have strong ones and weak ones. This is the arsenal he actually has in his shadow world? Special grade, cursed dual, playful cloud? <laughs> Let's go, Maki. Oh, I can't wait to see this. I gotta set up for this shit. Demon Dog Black. I know. R.I.P. Demon Dog White. R.I.P. Orochi. Oh, that's so nice. Is Demon Dog Black gonna get re Demon Wolf Black? What the fuck? Get revenge for your fallen brother. <laughs> Is this a distraction? There goes the cloud weapon. Then they switch for the combo. Oh my god, I'm, t <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh, 
That's pretty strong against Jujutsu Sorcerers. That is a strong technique. Yep. I love that callback to Nanami. Techniques actually do get stronger when... Which, I was watching... Oh, was it New World Review? Yes, I'm pretty sure who's doing his Jujutsu Kaisen reviews of the manga. Go watch those if you guys don't. Him and uh, Totally Not Mark are some of my favorite manga reviewers out there on YouTube. But... I love the aspect, he talked about this in this video, of restriction-based combat. Like, you can attain so much strength, but it's going to come at a cost. That's why I love Nen so much. I personally think Nen is the most well-crafted power system in any anime. But Jujutsu Kaisen, the curse power is so similar, and I love that aspect. To where, like, it's such an anime, it plays on anime tropes, too. Because the bad guy or the good guy always has to tell you your power. Us as the audience always has to know. But the fact that in this, it actually is a workaround. It actually makes it stronger. Uh, I, just, I just love that aspect. So I love a lot of the restriction-based aspects of the show. I must say. If anything happens to Maki, I'm sorry, I'm not watching the show anymore. I mean, there's a reason I got a Megumi poster up here, boys. Oh my god, yes, 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 yes. I get to see Yuji and Toto go against this fucking beastly beast. <laughs> my friend, good to go. Oh man, I just started tearing up. That was the only, the opening? What the hell? Even Panda. Take Maki. Exit the veil, get out of here. We got this, bud. Come on. It's okay. I love when characters say that. Just like back at the the juvenile detention center. <laughs> Panda! Panda! He's my favorite. What? Not until you land a black flash? The title is... Okay. Talk about being a... Talk about tough love. Talk about being a rough mentor. Ooh, talk no jutsu time. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Yep, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Ooh. <laughs> no hesitation. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> My friend. Oh, he needed that. You gotta be able to to quell that anger, to be able to use it directly, you know? <laughs> Worse yet. That takes a real man. Double slap, okay. Anyone can be angry. To be able to quell that? Best of friend! It's a distortion of space born from the impact of cursed energy delivered within a trillionth of a second of a blow. Really? I'm I what this man Yuji within a trillionth of a second the animation on that was insane it literally distorted turned into a drop and a, I don't even know I love the analogies they do you've been thrown in an ingredient you've never tasted before yep Without knowing, the, the knowing the why thing is so important. Congratulations, oh brother. 
Shall we get cooking, guys? We got a black arm with a rose petal. I have oh my god. That was smart. That was smart. That is that is definitely brutal. No way to dodge. Oh, that was so smart. Yeah, I love that. Ooh, Hanami mini flashback. I would get a little deep. That is true. It always... It always gets deep talking with Mahito because he talks about souls, you know, and... Always gets deep. Ooh. How are we gonna win this fight? This is actually so, oh, this is so. This is only season one of. We're only getting started, guys. To see both of them going ham and then Hanami being able to keep up is crazy. That's the one that gets rid of your will to fight, right? Oh yeah, it's kind of crazy. Oh, I hate the show. Man, that episode was any everything I wanted and more. Animation, top notch. The way we transitioned from it being Inomaki, um, Megumi, and Camel over to Toto. Oh, over to <laughs> like Megumi and Maki over to Toto and Yuji. Awesome. I loved it. I love some of the techniques. Oh my god, I was told by you guys very early on that the Shikigami, once they're dead, are dead forever. So I, I've always been like, R.I.P. Orochi, R.I.P. Demon Dog, White. I, I, I pray to God it's not R.I.P. Nui now. Like, I know Hanami, it looked like it went straight through Nui's heart. I'm hoping Nui is still alive. Maybe he fucking released him beforehand, but... I really like that technique that there's there's 10 shadows, right? 10 shadows technique where you use 10 different animals you can whatever do whatever with. But once one dies, it's blood and it's power goes. Oh, I love the visuals too. How we had like demon, like dog, wolf, demon wolf black now. That shit was so cool. And then also special uh, uh, cursed weapons also have grades too. And the fucking three pronged spear, whatever, bro. That, this shit is so cool. I swear to God. I, I desperately want to see Gakuganji and Utahime fight because I if they're teachers, principals, you know old people in anime are always sleeper OP. I'm trying to think of an old person in anime who wasn't OP. You know, Avatar Last Airbender, old people OP, DBZ, fucking Roshi, he's the gangster OG, you know? Old people are always, uh, fucking, who am I thinking of? Sushikage from Naruto. He literally is the oldest motherfucker in the world. I swear, he's just OP. Oh, and then Toto with Yuji being best of friendo, the whole black flash, that was super cool. And and uh, having a different understanding and perspective of cursed energy as a whole, once you're able to use it, makes so much sense. It's something that just opens your eyes, you know? Like, oh man, I tell you, I tell you. And then ending it with Toto's technique. Oh, I gotta watch this next episode. I'm sorry, guys. I gotta go. I'm out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Check out Early Access on Patreon if you guys don't want to wait. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'm out of here. Peace out, guys. Have a great day.